Well, ever since my childhood, I've had an interest in uh, agriculture, plant production, but also food quality. So it was pretty obvious for me to, to move to Copenhagen to, to study agronomy. One of my first scientific uh, achievements were, uh, were obtained during my, my master thesis, where I contributed to uh, the development of a new analytical method to diagnose manganese deficiency in plants. So at that time, manganese deficiency was one of the major uh, unresolved problems in Danish agriculture. And now uh, the method is, is implemented in more than 10 different countries. Globally, we are facing several problems now, but also within the, 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 the next decades, within uh, food security, food safety, but also food authenticity. And in order to address these issues, we, uh, we need a joint effort between universities, authorities, but also the industry. Food fraud is, a, is an increasing uh, problem worldwide, and there is an, a requirement for, for new analytical methods that can verify, for example, where and how high-value crops has been, has, been, uh, has been produced, where they originate from. And um, we have used the organic conventional as, as a case because there are differences in the way you fertilize uh, organic and conventional crops. And we can measure these differences using our analytical methods. Well, we believe that our research can be used to, uh, to address some of these challenges. For example, our analytical methods. If you have a better understanding of nutrient, nutrient availability, in soil, nutrient uptake, uh, assimilation in plants, the function in plants, then you can use the resources in a more sustainable way. So to put it simple, you can produce more food using less input. Simultaneously, the food needs to be of a high quality, it has to be safe, it has to be authentic, and we have also proven that our analytical methods can be, can be used to address these issues. On the analytical side, there are still a few barriers and what we still lack is actually databases of, of uh, authentic samples, data from authentic samples that you, can, that you can compare your results to. Being a scientist is really a great job. It's extremely flexible and you have the possibility to learn something new every day. I think it's very rewarding to do something that can actually be used in society within a short time period. <laughs>